So I was working at the Royal Adelaide Hospital as a team member in the violent patient response team. SAPOL brought in a gentleman who'd been awake for seven days on methamphetamines, large man, put him in the seclusion room and didn't search him. We were paged to respond to a code black because he was trying to smash his way out of the room and we had to enter the room, restrain him, search him. Uh, didn't go to plan. As you open the door, only one person can get through the door at a time. I was first through and he was a large bloke and we uh, ended up in a wrestling match. There was a barouche in the seclusion room, which is a very heavy bed, and we fell between the barouche and the wall. And I twisted my back as I was falling to the floor with this gentleman. I thought I'd be back to work the next day. By the time I'd realised how badly I had injured myself, yeah, I didn't know when I'd be able to return to work. I had a discectomy, laminectomy. That's when you slip a disc and it's putting pressure on your spinal cord. I couldn't walk, um, I was in a lot of pain. I was bedridden for a while, stuck at home. Very hard to do anything, to be honest. Yeah, the future wasn't looking bright. <laughs> the turning point was when I sat down with Leah, we were having a coffee and she said, right, Andrew, how do you feel about returning to some kind of work? And I said, I think that's a fantastic idea. It took a while with a lot of support and a lot of services. I utilised every service and bit of support that I could from Return to Work SA and we got there. Getting back to work gives you a connection to the community and gives you self-respect, things that money can't buy. I'm not isolated. I've got a reason to get up every morning. I just generally love life at the moment. Just don't give up. Don't sit at home. Don't lay in bed and think the future's not going to get any better, because it will. It will. You just need to be determined and focused. I think my doctor called me a determined, practical man. Now, I'm not sure what that means, but Leah assures me it's a compliment. So, be determined. Yeah, be practical. Get it done. <laughs>